Good morning, everybody. Glad to have you here today, and uh, appreciate you joining me. If you want to follow along, we'll be back in the first chapter of James today, looking at the 12th verse. James chapter 1, verse 12. There we read these words. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. <clears throat> interesting verse and interesting concept. Uh, blessed is the man that endureth temptation. All of us, I suppose, pray for blessings. Uh, pray that God would bless us. We pray that God would bless others. Well, here James says the man that is blessed isn't the one who gets the new car or the big house, but he is the man uh, that endures temptation. And so how do we... Um, endure temptation and receive this blessing, this crown of life that this passage uh, talks about. Well, let's um, take this verse apart a little bit and see what we can learn. Uh, he says the man that endures temptation will be blessed. Now, uh, the first thing we need to understand is what that, uh, what that means. Uh, the word blessed here does not, again, mean uh, the big house and the new car. Uh, it means an inward joy, a spiritual satisfaction, uh, a uh, confidence that will help us to face uh, this trial and uh, the trials uh, of the future, uh, regardless of uh, the cost. Uh, it is a person uh, that is blessed, is satisfied, is content uh, with God. Uh, knows that God is uh, taking care of him, uh, looking after him, even uh, up to and including uh, death, that he is uh, secure. And so that's the meaning of the word blessed, which is different uh, than the way ordinarily uh, we pray or, or think about someone uh, being blessed, the man that is able uh, to endure, to make it through, uh, to stand up to uh, the temptation. Uh, and when that happens, he says he'll receive uh, a crown uh, of life. Now, this is a, uh, a phrase that's a little bit uh, challenging. Um, and there are some different opinions uh, of exactly what James uh, means uh, by that. Uh, I think um, when we take the whole context of things, uh, what James is talking about is um, that uh, a believer that endures uh, the trials and the temptations has the, the promise uh, of, uh, of eternal life, has the security uh, of, uh, of knowing that uh, his life will uh, go on and that uh, his, uh, his life will uh, be, uh, his love and service to Christ will be evident uh, for eternity, uh, and that uh, he will bring us uh, that, uh, that, uh, that gift. Uh, and they, uh, from, uh, from going through and dealing uh, with the temptations and the trials, uh, of life. And so uh, as we think about this whole verse as a whole, um, a as a complete package, um, what we have is a statement that says true happiness, uh, ble being blessed comes uh, from, uh, from knowing uh, that uh, we have uh, peace within, uh, that uh, again, it's not something that comes from external sources, uh, but it's that peace that comes from within uh, that assures us uh, of eternal life, no matter uh, the type or the size uh, of temptations or trials. Uh, many times trials for some people uh, cause people to doubt their salvation, to doubt if God loves them, um, but uh, he says uh, that the man who goes through temptation endures temptation, learns of the love of God, uh, and learns of the promise of God uh, that he can uh, depend on. 
And that's a good word for us today because uh, we face, uh, we, we do and we will uh, face uh, a lot of trials and temptations uh, in life. And having that peace, having that confidence of knowing that even the trials and even the temptations uh, cannot take away uh, our relationship with God uh, or damage uh, the promise we have uh, of eternal life. It's a good thing to remember. Hope it helped you today uh, as you face the trials and temptations of life. Have a good day.